In the last video, we saw how stage fear stops us from becoming great public speakers. In this video, I'm going to share four things that I usually practice to keep my stage fear under control. I call it the stage pack. P stands for preparation. The more prepared you are, the less nervous you will be. Rehearsing your presentation a lot of times can help you become confident. You'll feel much better and you will have the confidence that you're going to do well. If you think you have practiced enough number of times, practice one more time. That's the key to a confident speech. A stands for appearance. With better grooming comes more confidence. Imagine yourself well suited up for a client presentation. The first impression that you give out will give you confidence in return. Sometimes if you don't dress appropriately for the occasion, the very thought of not being dressed well will keep nudging your mind from within and that will bring down your confidence levels. So the second thing that you have to keep in your mind is your appearance. C stands for continuous upgrade. Now as a speaker, you must have a subject of expertise. You have to spend time to continuously upgrade your knowledge base. If you are a technological speaker, for example, you should be upgraded enough to answer any question the audience will ask. Imagine an audience member asking a question and you're not upgraded enough to answer that question. It's going to bring down your confidence levels. So always keep learning, keep growing, keep exploring more in the subject of expertise that you have. And finally, K stands for knowledge of audience, place and time. Who are you speaking to? In what context and in what time of the day? All these three things play a key role when you give a speech. I was once asked to give a motivational speech. I had a statement which said, Life is like your performance appraisal rating. You only get what you don't expect. I used to work for a software concern and people there loved this statement. It used to invoke laughter whenever I delivered it. But this time it did not. Because the audience had a lot of college students seated with him. If I had spent some time to understand who my audience are, I would have definitely done much better. So always have an understanding of who you're speaking to, in what time of the day and in what context. So these are the four things that I follow to keep my stage fear under control. Find your pack. If you don't have one, develop a pack. Control your stage fear and become great speakers. Thank you for watching. Let this day take you closer to success.